the events that brought us to the court today should never have occurred. Those events were and are the result of a process that was corrupt to its core, one that was all too familiar to black people in 2021. While I do not need this court, these prosecutors, or a piece of paper to tell me I'm innocent, I am very glad that my family, my friends, and the attorneys who have worked and supported me all of these years are finally saying the truth that we have all known, officially recognized. I'm an 83-year-old man who was victimized by the criminal justice system. I do not know how many more years of creative activity I have. However, I hope the same system that was responsible for this travesty of justice also takes responsibility for the immeasurable harm it caused to me during the last 55 or 56 years. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you for your remarks. Uh, the court has reviewed the joint motion that's been filed today which seeks a vacator of the judgment of conviction of Muhammad Aziz and Khalil Islam pursuant to criminal procedure law 44010-1G on the grounds of newly discovered evidence and failure to disclose exculpatory information and for dismissal of indictment 871 of 1965 against them pursuant to criminal procedure law 21040. With respect to the CPL 44010-1G motion to vacate, as set forth in that joint motion and through the record established today, the court finds that an earnest reinvestigation has uncovered significant evidence that was not known to the defendants at the time of the trial, which evidence is of such character as to create a probability that had such evidence been received at the trial, the verdict would have been more favorable to the defendants. Under New York law, dismissal of an indictment in the interest of justice is warranted only where such dismissal is required as a matter of judicial discretion by the existence of some compelling factor, consideration, or circumstances clearly demonstrating that the conviction of a defendant upon the indictment would constitute or result in injustice. The court has and must consider the factors set forth in CPL section 21040 sub 1, and as the New York courts have clarified, the court's discretion to dismiss an indictment should be exercised sparingly, end quote, in that rare and unusual case which cries out for fundamental injustice beyond the confines of conventional considerations. That's People versus Insignaris, 109 AD 2D 221, First Department, quoting People versus Belge, 41 New York 2D 60. There can be no question that this is a case that cries out for fundamental justice. This court's paramount purpose is, and always has been, to uphold the law and pursue justice. To Mr. Aziz and your family, and to the family of Mr. Islam, I regret that this court cannot fully undo the serious miscarriages of justice in this case and give you back the many years that were lost. Dismissal of the indictment is the full extent of this court's authority. But for the reasons set forth in the joint application and based on the record that has been made today, this court's mandate requires that the judgments of conviction be vacated and that the indictment against Mr. Aziz and Mr. Islam be dismissed. The joint motion is hereby granted. And the record... Mr. Aziz and Mr. Islam will be sealed and at the party's request, 
Sealing of that record will be stayed for five days until November 26th. Thank you very much.